Hey everyone and welcome back to Sparkly Pink. Today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY jewelry necklace organizer because if you're like me most of your jewelry looks like this. It's in a piled mess getting all tangled not organized or you try and organize it in one of these things and it still just doesn't look as pretty. So we're going to make this if it ends up being too much of a project then I have also found one on Amazon which looked really cute. I just kind of wanted to try to make one on my own and I'm going to show you how I did that. I will lead to the Amazon one down below. So these are the supplies we need to make the DIY one. We need some command strips, some hooks, some screws. Um, you really just need one like old screw, nothing crazy. And then your pieces of wood. Originally I was going to make a project with two pieces of wood, but I ended up only using one. I also made the mistake of buying birch wood and we will talk about that a bit later. Some uh, old English scratch, kind of to use a scene, an old rag, a drill, some sandpaper and plastic. So very basic supplies, nothing too crazy. You probably have it at home already. Now we're going to use the sandpaper and just kind of take off the rough edges around the wood and to score it so that the stain will seep in a little bit better. So you'll see I'm going with the grain of the wood here and just kind of taking off that initial shine to the wood. And then it was hurting my hand so I went and got my sanding block and put the paper on that because it gets quite hot. Then we are wiping off the shavings and just kind of cleaning off the wood with an old rag, a different one from the one we're going to use with the stain, laying out your plastic because if you're like me, you're going to get a little messy. It's kind of inevitable. Grabbing our old English because I'm kind of jipping out here on getting an actual stain and just using what I had at home, adding it to an old rag and then going with the grain of the wood and applying a light colored stain. You can go ahead and paint this or maybe tape it up and do different shapes and designs and things like that. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I let the stain sit in for a little bit. Originally this is the shape I was going to attach those two pieces together to make the shelf but I ended up not doing that because birch wood apparently is the hardest wood out there. So that was my mistake. Don't buy birch wood. Buy something else, maybe like pine or do your research. Um, I heard that pine was a softer wood to use. With the tape measure I laid out, I'm going to go every inch and a half with my screw and my hammer and I'm going to mark where I want my cup or my C hooks to go. Just patting it in a little bit, take it off. There you go, you got your little indicator of where you want it to go. I didn't really stress about going in a straight, I mean I tried to do it and eyeball it in a straight line, but I guess you could have measured it from the top, like how far down from the top you're gonna put the little dot, but I really wasn't gonna stress about it. It's DIY, it's going in my closet. So as I got it all finished and all the way down the board, I grabbed my C hooks or cup hooks or teacup hooks, whatever you wanna call these, and started to hand screw these into the wood. And this is where I realized my mistake of purchasing the birch wood. <laughs> Look at Lily right now. She is just enjoying the sun so much right now. Hey, Lily. Lily. Hi. What are you doing over there? All right, back to work. Okay, maybe I need to find an easier way to do this because I am having a really hard time twisting this on here. Hmm. If I do decide to attach them, that's what it's kind of looking like. And I was thinking of putting more hooks down here or on the bottom. So here you see me hand screwing in the last one. So as I got about halfway through the board and I realized I could not hand screw them in anymore, I was like, what can I use to help turn these easier? And it would be the back of my hammer. Genius. Made it so easy. I finished up the second half of the board in like half the time. Got them all in. They're in sturdy. Looks great to me. It's very simple, to the point, and exactly what I was looking for for this project. All right, time for the command strips. These are the puppies that are going to attach it to the wall without it actually being drilled into the wall. As you can see, that little hole there, that's where I tried to 
drilled the one piece into the other and I failed. And we see Lily again. These are super easy to use too, guys. I ended up first attaching only two, and you'll see in a minute why that was a mistake too. So learn from my mistakes. Here we are just removing the adhesive and applying it to my closet wall. Started to hang up all of my jewelry. At first I just layered them one at a time and then I kind of put one or two to a hook. Keeps them from being tangled. I am so in love with this idea. I'm really glad that I did this. I needed it. I needed all of these to be organized. And here you see why I ended up putting on four of the command strips rather than two. And our finished product with the four up there, I've had no problems with it at all. I've actually had it up there a couple of weeks since filming this footage and it hasn't fallen down. No issues. Everything's staying tangle free. I love this. It makes getting ready in the morning easier. I throw on my outfit, grab my accessories and I'm out the door. Let me know what you guys think about this project in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any other requests for other DIYs. And I hope you found this helpful. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.